Hey guys, it's Shardy here again, and I have another loot crate. Um, tell you the truth, I have no idea what's in this loot crate. I have no idea what the um, theme is. No clue. So we'll be completely surprised. Um, I did see this right here. Uh, it says this crate is designed differently than any other crate before it. Please read the first page of the magazine to see how. Um, I'm going to look at it first. I ain't going to um, read the first page first because I don't want to know anything about it. You know, first, so we'll do it this way. Uh, we'll do it as usual. I'll open it up. I won't go look inside and I'll stick my hand in and pick out what's first. Um, there's a shirt. Um, it's a. Oh, it's another one like the word shirts, like they did for um, Zelda, um, with a link and whatever. Um, not sure what it is. Um, I don't know if it's uh, some kind of ninja, um, Pirates of the Caribbean kind of thing, Jack Sparrow, whatever. I have no idea. Anybody else tell me? I can probably read the book, but I have no idea. Um, I know one of my friends is going to be really, really upset that I got this, and he did not. Um, I don't think he got the crate. Um, I, don't, I doubt it, but it's a Mega Man Mini Helmet Replica. i got to open this thing up and see. Oh, it's actually, uh, looks like it can be multiple different ones. So let's open this thing up and see what we got inside. Actually, I guess there is no tape there. I thought it was. Um, try not to ruin the box, but it makes it hard when you don't have any fingernails. Come on. Open. I want to see it. There we go. Well, it looks like I got a stand. Uh, I got the red one. Which I'll plan to keep in the box in here and I'll put that up there on the um on the uh, display case up there. I'll show you what it guys looks like on a stand. Um, I actually sort of knew that this was in here. Um, I didn't know exactly what it would be. Um, I did remember seeing something about a um, this goes on here. Um, something about uh, Mega Man. Um, I wasn't exactly sure, like I said, what it was, but. Say one thing. This does not want to go in the hole. That's what she said. Or he said. And that goes there. And voila. I think it's pretty cool. A little Mega Man helmet. I think I put it on wrong, but maybe not. I don't know. It's pretty cool. And like I said, I'll like I always keep the boxes for those things. Um we have a Halo Metallic Series figurine. Um, I'm not really sure what this is either. Um, these definitely are a little different um, crates than usual. Um, there's a lot of different things in it. Um, I don't see an actual like theme at all, really. I'm not sure if maybe that's what's different. Um, I don't know what that plastic even did. Oh. Uh, it's open. Um, okay, yeah, it looks like it's just a little tiny figurine inside of a pod. Um, I mean, you can see that. Just like a, a lead or whatever. Um, and it has like a little gun in there, a little carbine or something. Spartan carbine or. Or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, okay. It's Halo. I like Halo. So. 
Um, we have a another loot crate exclusive, maybe. Let's open it up. Looks like it might be like a headband. Um, it has like Street Fighter on it. And then on the other side, it's Capcom. Just like a like a little Ryu or something headband kind of thing. I don't know. Might be a belt. I don't know. I have no idea. Again, it does say it's a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, okay. Um, ooh, this might actually be pretty nice. I'm just something to hold on to. I know I've had like other things, like a um, Oblivion. I'll actually show you guys. Um, some things you always want to hold on to, especially if they're exclusive or if they're really rare kind of things. Um, I got the worst Elder Scrolls game in the world, ever, ever, um, but inside, because I always buy collector editions, there's this coin, which it came with the collector edition, um, at one point it was going for like 50 bucks just for the coin, so I'm holding on to it, just because I can. And I have it, and it might be worth something in the future. You never know. Um, it always tends to go back up in price whenever a um, new uh, edition or new game comes out. Um, not so much with online, but when uh, Skyrim came up, I know that that definitely went up. But if you see here, it's a Assassin's Creed Unity little bag. And if I'm correct, yep. There is a Assassin's Creed little like balloon or coin or something in there. I can get that to uh, mainly just says um liber uh yeah. Just unity in different languages I think. Um it's pretty cool. Um these are it's definitely a little different kind of theme. Um actually there is a theme. Um, to these crates. And that's why I didn't see anything. Um, we have our... Wait, it's actually staying here with the theme was? Oh, I guess it was battle. Um, so we have our little pin. Loot Crate November 2014 battle pin. I don't know if one of those was you mad or something, I don't know. And we have our usual things at the bottom um, there's some kind of a I don't know there's a little theme at the bottom but like if you see on the sides here oh wait I saw that side there's this oh, back there I don't know if they're making these so that they somehow link together or something pretty cool um, we have a 50% off um, Lich Dome Battle Mage. I don't know, some kind of game, maybe. Um, we have a digital comic loot. Um, looks like it's a. Oh, it's a full game download for Super Street Fighter uh, 4 Arcade Edition. On Steam. That's pretty cool. It's a $20 game, $20 value. Um, which side? Are you pirates or ninjas? Um, I guess it's just like a thing where you can go on there and, and uh, vote which side are you on. Um, but on here it says, uh, um, yeah, it looks like a, uh, inside here, I guess they're making these boxes into more of like a, uh, um, Maybe some kind of a, a playset kind of thing. Um, you're supposed to be able to f somehow fold this out into like a little scene or something. And then they have little tiny characters on the inside here. You can fold up and put them in there. That's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, this is probably one of the 
better loot crates that we've ever gotten. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. There's the t-shirt. There's the download code. That's $20 download code. I mean, the crate was less than $20. Um, this coin, I think everybody should really hold on to. Um, everybody who got a crate. I'm not sure how rare these are. I'm not sure if it's exclusive. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure where that came from. Um, I could look in here probably. Um, I can find it really quick. Come on, where is it at? Did they stop? Oh no, there they are. Um, it's a Unity coin with a velvet pouch. Um, a loot crate exclusive. So, you know, hold on to these if they're loot, 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 crate, loot crate exclusives. That means there's not, you know, a, a ton of them out there. Um, and they, they could be worth something in the future, especially with how big Assassin's Creed is, even though it's been getting some little bit of bad rap um, with how the game is. But, um, ooh, I really want this Mega Crate. A really nice Mega Crate this year. Um, but, yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed these boxes, like, as much as I do, um, go to lootcrate.com slash shardy, um, SH4RDY, and sign up. Um, you can do one month, three months, and six months, at least that was the last time I looked on the website. I haven't really been on there much, but it's because I already have a ongoing three months of subscri subscription. But if you guys enjoyed it, go to the link. I'll put it down below, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.